Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Gemini. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for, well, this reading is timeless. Whenever you watch it, near future. If this reading is for you. Not every reading is for you, so keep that in mind. What do we have for Gemini? Well, we have four. Cat, a two-faced friend. A two-faced friend. Claw, be careful. Do not take risks. So you do have a two-faced friend. Somebody's talking behind your back. This one was reversed. It's table. It says hard work ahead. So I don't know if something's going to be easing up. This one's upright. Fire, strong emotion, passionate love or hate. Interesting. Maybe you're not supposed to put any work into it. Put any effort into it. A two-faced friend. Be careful. Do not take risks. This work, it's like, don't, I wouldn't put any effort into it. Don't give it, don't put any work into it. Because that one's reversed. Passionate love or hate. You could be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Two-faced friend. I feel like there's nothing that you need to do. Hmm. What do we have for Gemini? This may be at work. It may have something to do with your work. It's risky business. This is risky business. Either passionate love or hate. Strong emotion. Somebody may be screaming, hollering. Don't put any work into it. Don't put any effort into it. Hmm. Angel protection. So there's angel protection here. You're, let the angels handle it, apparently. You are protected in some way. It's, like, it's interesting because I said, I, or I felt, there's nothing that you need to do. You don't need to do anything. What do we have for Gemini? Ooh, this is only lust. So it's something that dies off. It dies out. It's it's some somebody could be doing something for instant gratification. You know, and lust doesn't have to be sexual, okay? Lust is instant gratification. It's to get some sort of dopamine release or something. Somebody could be doing something for a boost. It's only lust. It won't last. This this will not last. Hmm. You will be attending a get-together soon. So you're going to be attending a get-together soon in the very near future. I wonder if somebody's going to take a risk and I don't know if it blows up. Don't do anything, okay? So, I don't know if there's a wish being granted. You 
you will be attending a get together soon there's angel protection here this is only lust there's nothing that you need to do hmm what do we have for Gemini something here that's not going to last it's not going to last it's only for a short time oh my goodness gracious you know the cards they always confirm this is not something not lasting it's burning out infertile hmm King of Cups, reversed, could be dealing with Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We all, I think that we have strong fire energy as well. Emotions all over the place. This, there could be emotional burnout. Shut down, shut down, emotional, emotions all over the place. Um, blocked emotions, emotions all over the place, blocking blessings. There's a need to master emotions. There's something going down. Something is going down. There's somebody here that, I don't know if somebody is really struggling with their emotions. I feel like there's somebody around you that cannot master their emotions. That's the challenge. Some of you may need to shut something down. You may need to uh, it's like not give energy. It is. It's not give energy. Hmm. Lack of fertility. No growth being weighed down not excited no there's no desire to there's no there's no growth here right there's no desire here it's only it's only lust hmm well that's it right there and it, it may be like a one night stand or something that only lasts for a little while whatever this is and, and whether it's i don't know if it's love related or what passionate love or hate it's very interesting something's burning out it's it's be it's going down maybe feelings or something like that Page of Pentacles reverse. Very interesting because this is about work. This is not interested in doing the work, not interested in long term commitment, not focused. There's a lack of focus here. There's a need to refocus. There's a need to maybe go in a different direction. Um, something about the heart as well so somebody needs to open their heart and maybe it's you maybe you need to open your heart in in a new direction be more loving um anyhow page of pentacles reverse not interested in anything long term not really focused this is somebody that doesn't act with integrity doesn't do the right thing wants to play games perhaps Four of Cups, recent past. Somebody's been ignoring an opportunity. They have. They've ignored something. Maybe they didn't see something. The Ace of Wands reverses lack of vision, ignoring intuition, feelings all over the place, blocked feelings, blocked emotions. Maybe you're blocking your feelings, you're blocking your emotions. Some of you may not be letting your blessings in. Maybe, I don't know, there's emotional withdrawal here. There's also somebody around you that is very secretive. But anyhow, in the past, in the past we have uh, ignoring. There's somebody that is ignoring. Maybe they've ignored you or they're not really... Uh, 
giving you much attention or something like that. And you may be in a plight place where you're not letting anybody in. You may be a little standoffish as well. Okay. Ooh, Ace of Pentacles reversed. That's above. So that's a loss, right? The Ace of Pentacles reversed is letting something go or something slipping away or could be an unplanned loss of stability, something that you had. Whether you're choosing to let it go or it's leaving, you know, something is leaving, okay? It's, it's, it's going away. Somebody in the past has been ignoring their intuition. They've been ignoring an opportunity. They've been extremely stubborn. They haven't been focused on doing the work. They haven't been focused on uh, following through. This is maybe somebody that has been tired or maybe even lazy maybe they've been hiding something hiding their true feelings or they've been emotionally withdrawn keeping secrets about something there's um, no long-term plan maybe in the past they didn't have a long-term plan Near future, the world. The world is a major completion. So there's a major completion of a cycle here in the very near future. That's positive. That's great. So there's something is coming full circle. And we have a major completion, major accomplishment, a lesson being learned. Maybe it has to do about with listening to intuition or it has to do with long-term stability. It could even have something to do with self-value. Anyhow, the world is the end. It's the end of a cycle. It's stepping into the new era, stepping into the new existence. It's, it could be a change of residence. There could be travel. There, Whatever is happening, we have a major completion in the near future. You know, there may be something in the past that has caused you to block. You know, has maybe you've been blocking um, letting love in or blocking new opportunities from coming your way but the world is the it's where you've learned a lesson right and you've it's like looking back at the past looking back at what isn't growing looking back at things that didn't value you i think that you're going to be letting something go that is no longer desirable okay i think it's no longer desirable to you near future is the end of a cycle of maybe it's not being loved not being uh valued that's what it is this is only last you will be attending a get together soon you may be getting some sort of recognition as well with that world card that can be recognition the end of some sort of journey, some sort of significant chapter in your life that you needed to learn some sort of lesson from. He's giving up on something. You may be giving up. You may be quitting something, giving up on something. Maybe you're with somebody that's emotionally withdrawn emo or, or this may ha even have something to do with the past where you've been hung up on something, maybe protecting yourself in some way. Anyway, let's keep going. Nine of Swords reversed giving deep thought to a relationship, whether it's a friend or a lover, giving deep, deep thought. There could be somebody that does not have good intentions in your arena. This person, um, it may be blocking your growth, blocking your success, blocking your, you know, or 
are causing you to feel insecure in some way, whether it's somebody that you're that is in your life right now or it's somebody from your past. We have a no answer. We have something being pushed away. It's like, no, I'm not going down that path. I'm, I'm not. For some of you, it's like you're not looking f for, you're not looking for to be ignored. Well, who is, right? You're not looking for anybody that doesn't have good intentions, right? There is somebody here that doesn't have good intentions. The Nine of Swords would say that as well. I feel like you're going through some sort of spiritual awakening, but I feel, I feel like you've been blocking something. There's a lot of fear. There's a lot of worry. And I think that your gut is really, really, really speaking to you. And you've been trying to ignore it. You've been trying to ignore something. It's like there's a new opportunity. And it's like maybe you're just choosing not to see it. Or you don't want to acknowledge it or something like that. This is like I can't believe this is happening. Realizing something. Now some there could be a loss here that really puts you in a place of despair and you know maybe you need to the world is acceptance it really is it's accepting that something is over so you may come to some sort of realization about a situation you know we have somebody here that has not been putting in any effort to grow a relationship. They don't, they're not really focused on that. They've been ignoring, you know, they maybe they haven't wanted to accept any responsibility or they just haven't been willing to try new things or communicate. There could be communication issues here. This person may be very withdrawn and secretive, which makes you worried. And, you know, it's like, why aren't you communicating with me? You know, and it puts you in a place of despair and worry. And it's like when you're when you're left to assume, you know, that can cause problems. The end of a cycle, however you look at it, is in the near future. And it's a big cycle. So it could be a relationship, could be a job, could be, you know, a schooling, uh, whatever it is. It's very significant, okay? This is literally saying goodbye and stepping forward into something new. Them. Page of Wands reverse. So you definitely could be dealing, it feels like you're definitely dealing with water or fire. So a water sign or a fire sign. But this is somebody that may see themselves as a victim, may have a victim mentality. Definitely uh, maybe procrastinates, doesn't follow through with anything, um, loses sight of things, may start things and quit very, very fast. Doesn't doesn't have any real follow through the page of wands is an individual that you know may seem to, to jump into things with full of passion you know and excitement but then they they peter out really really fast they quit and they give up okay this can also be somebody that is very indecisive and it may even be confused at times because they jump into things. This it's somebody that you're dealing with may be very actually very impulsive, um, unreliable, doesn't really follow through. So whoever you're dealing with um, may often fail to complete tasks because they get overly excited. Okay, they get overly excited or they don't have the experience or they, maybe they have an overinflated ego. Whoever you're dealing with, um, there's a, I mean, that's failing to launch. It's like somebody who jumps into something and it fails. So I don't know. And that's them. So I think that you deal, this is only lust. There's no, there's no follow through here. This person gets easily distracted. 
And this could definitely be a troublemaker that gossips. So there's somebody in your environment that, you know, is a gossip. We do have the two-faced friend. This person um, probably needs a lot of attention. Somebody may be doing something to cause you stress. They want, in it, in it, whether they're doing it on purpose or they're doing it, you know, inadvertently, it's happening. It's like, oh my God, I can't believe this is happening. It's like causing you a lot of stress and despair. You know, you have to, and you've probably been thinking about this for quite some time as to whether you want to stay or you want to move or whether you want to continue to do this or not. So anyhow... Woo! Stiff competition, fighting, conflict, strife, drama. There's drama here. So is somebody, it feels like somebody. there's somebody here that thrives on drama and competition. I can't make this shit up for any reason, okay? This is like a troublemaker that likes to fight, that likes to be in the ring, that likes to engage with many, many others. Okay, so, you know, we definitely have some sort of drama here. There's somebody that wants to, I don't know if they want to win, they want to prove themselves, or they like to play. They like to play a lot of games. Mind games. Mind games. So you're dealing with somebody that plays a lot of mind games, and they see themselves as a victim. Okay? So, so somebody, it's almost like somebody wants to fight, or they want to cause drama, or they want to cause conflict. You know, they may even be wanting to cause some sort of fear, make you make you fear. It's almost like, it's kind of like, I watched a video last night, and it was about narcissists, right? And it's kind of like that narcissist that wants to make you afraid of losing them, you know? I don't know if there's narcissistic behavior here of some sort. Somebody's probably engaging with others in some way or just causing inner conflict. Outcome. Knight of Pentacles reversed. Knight of Pentacles reversed is, again, no staying power. It could be infidelity. could be unfaithfulness. Not No long-term plan. Laziness. Um, not committed. Not going anywhere. Irresponsible, not practical. Something, somebody, something's gonna be stopped. Something is coming to a stop. This battle is coming to a stop. It is going to come to a halt. We have somebody here that doesn't follow through with things. Okay, they don't, they don't have any staying power at all. Okay, there may be, there could be a sponger here. There could be somebody that is very lazy. There's a lot of laziness here. So I don't know who this person is. Or, and maybe laziness isn't the right word. You may have somebody here that is fighting over money or they're looking for a handout, you know, that kind of thing. Refusing to accept responsibility, refusing to do the work, refusing to put in any effort whatsoever. Ever. It's interesting. Don't do give it any of your time or energy. It's interesting because it, it, the hard work was reversed, and then the the Knight of Pentacles is reversed. Okay, so that's like not putting in any work, not doing the work. Don't don't engage. And underneath it is the engage with this battle, this drama, this this fighting. Okay, don't engage. Don't engage. Don't give it your energy. Don't put in any effort to it. Okay, maybe you need to shut it down. Maybe you maybe you need to shut something down. I feel like there's somebody here that is fighting with you. Um, they it is only lust. It's not gonna last. Okay, it is going to stop. This drama or fight or battle is going to stop. It's very interesting because on the bottom of the deck I have the six of swords, which is moving on. And then we have we, well, the world card is the near outcome. That is success. It's congratulations. So moving on brings you success. It brings you reward, put it that way, recognition. Anyhow, Six of Swords is moving to a better place. It's, it's going somewhere. This is a time of transition, leaving behind a hostile situation. You know, it may be a little rough, but 
getting through it, okay? So I feel like there's somebody that is moving. They're going somewhere. They're leaving. They're traveling. Um, maybe to a new destination. Literally could be moving. No longer interested in engaging with the drama. Giving deep thought to a relationship with somebody who thrives on drama. There's definitely somebody here that thrives on drama. Okay, This is somebody that gets easily distracted in likes to compete, really likes to compete, but really doesn't have the experience that they need to win, but likes to cause mind games. So there's somebody that's playing some sort of mind games with you. You will be attending a get together soon. There is angel protection. There's nothing that you need to do. There's news here. You're going to receive some news, okay? And there's, there could be some mental problems going on with the Nine of Swords reversed with an individual that is unhealthy. It feels like there's somebody here that is unhealthy. Um, maybe they have some food issues or some health issues. Very interesting. I was clarifying that Five of Wands and I got the Two of Swords. And the Two of Swords is a blockage. Maybe you need to block. Maybe you need to block. You may need to block something. But this is a painful, stressful decision. Okay, so... In a position... Where you need to make a decision... There's two options. Do you stay or do you go? Do you do you invest in this or not? We do have somebody here that uh, really thrives on drama and tension and causing, I want to say mental conflict. This is choosing not to see choosing to ignore what's really going on, which is ca causing all the conflict. Maybe you need to choose to ignore it. Choose to ignore it. And I hate to say that. Um, we do have movement. Moving. Going somewhere. There's somebody here that is emotionally unavailable. Okay, they're, they're literally emotionally unavailable. And there's a blockage. And there's definitely some sort of a lethargy here as well. Giving deep thought to the next phase of your life. There's fear. There's fear of rejection. There's fear of the competition there's fear there's fear of what there's there's fear of change maybe but i gotta tell you the future does look bright right this is where you make a decision and this decision brings growth okay it's a time of expansion. It's time to refocus, spread your wings, right? This is about stepping into new territory. And the world card is well is as well. I think that you are going to be stepping into new territory. I think that you're ready. I think that you're ready. I think that you're ready to go. I feel like you've made up your mind. I feel like, or you're going to be making up your mind. Some of you could literally be traveling, though. You know, this could be travel, could be long-distance travel. For some of you, there's definitely going to be some movement.
be ready be ready ready for something significant I put that right on top of the world card and that is ready some of you are making a decision to let something go that is infertile and you're stepping into a new experience okay and it feels like you're really you've been struggling you've been struggling with this decision you've been struggling we do have a refocus You know, for some of you, there could be something that is coming around or, or even back around. Something that was at a distance as well. Okay. Abundance. Abundance came flying out. So there's been some sort of blocked abundance due to emotions. Um, but the world card is the end of a cycle maybe there's been lack maybe there's been a lack of money or a lack of success but we do have success get ready get ready and i put it right over the world get ready okay so something is coming back around everything changes right there's been some sort of blockage maybe the blockage is being removed That's what I think is happening. Oh, I turned it to the wrong one. Everything is blossoming in life. Open yourself to receive. Abundance, fulfillment, and prosperity are ready to be activated in your life. Life desires you to prosper. You are moving toward an outpouring of money, energy, time, or love. Opportunities are limitless. However, you must take action in the direction of your dreams. So that's advice. You must take action in the direction of your dreams. And that is, this is in your advice position. This has to do with your dreams. Okay, so you wake up in the middle of the night or whenever and you've had a dream. Okay, that's the action you need to take. You need, to, you need to follow your heart. You need to listen to your intuition. If you need to let something go that is causing you a lot of internal struggles and pain and sleepless nights, and even if, you know, it's stressful, if you got to let it go, you got to let it go. Anyhow, you are moving toward an outpouring of money, energy, time, or love. Opportunities are limitless. However, you must take action in the direction of your dream. Stop procrastinating. I said that. Don't wait for abundance to fall into your lap. Take steps. Give deeply and fully. Don't hold back. This card reveals that it is a great time to make investments. The more you give, with a free and open heart, the more you will receive. Be grateful for what you already have and even more will flow to you. It's interesting. Maybe you have a blocked heart chakra. I mean, I'm just saying. And maybe you haven't been taking risks. Maybe, maybe you haven't been taking risks. Maybe it's time to take a step and stop procrastinating. Stop fighting it feels like there's somebody here, obviously there is, that has been causing, maybe this person has uh, dimmed your self-confidence, dimmed your self-value, you know, because of their spite or their hatefulness or the drama that they've caused, right? Anyhow, there's it's a time for limitless abundance, okay? And you're going to be getting some sort of recognition and it feels like the only things that you need to do is go after your dreams. That's all you need to do. Go after your dreams. Good luck.